Hey YouTube, Chanel Latimer here, and I'm going to bring up a topic that I think um, uh, really, it really applies to any field, but in this case, um, I'm going to uh, relate it to the music industry, so musicians, <laughs> I hope this helps, helps uh, you guys or someone or whatever. Um, so the thing that <clears throat> I think any artist, musician or whatever needs to um, avoid is burnout, <laughs> getting fried, because um, that's something that nobody even, I don't think almost any musician ever considers it. I don't think really anybody ever considers it with any field. I know I didn't when I was active as a musician. Um, I didn't think about burnout, you know. In fact, uh, the opposite. I mean, well, for one thing, um, I was ultra competitive. Like, I didn't like, <laughs> I did not like if somebody uh, uh, might get more gigs than me, you know. I made it my mission to destroy them. If they had three gigs, then I had to have eight. <laughs> or, or, you know, if they had... Um, you know, um, uh, a couple of gigs out, outside of town, I had to book a tour <laughs> around the country. <laughs> so, you know, that's how I was. But, um, you know, uh, and, 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 you know, that has its place. But, um, you know, it's a marathon, first of all. And, you know, I didn't really realize that at the time so much. I was just more concerned about bringing home some kind of money, I guess, which is always a concern as an artist. But, but really, you know, I guess that ties in with um, what I think was the biggest mistake I made with my music career that I hope uh, I can help other musicians avoid, uh, which will lead to burnout. You know, and that is so. So my, my I believe my biggest mistake in my music career was that I didn't put a team around me that could help me. Um, and, you know, because, uh, you know, truth be told, I, I can't say I didn't, I didn't have anybody that wanted to help me. I, I, I did actually, um, if I have to be completely honest, I think the reason I didn't put a team together or, or that I didn't take advantage of, you know, people's offers to help and things like that was I just, as silly as it sounds, I didn't know how to delegate tasks, <laughs> you know, like, um, uh, you know, I, I had uh, groups of fans, family, you know, some friends, but mostly it was fans, you know, who wanted to help me and say, oh, you know, let me. Um, let me take control of your email list. Let me do this or, uh, you know, whatever. Let me help you uh, make calls to book gigs. And, and, you know, and it was incredible. Like, you know, uh, I'm, of course, grateful, uh, always have been, you know, but I just, back then, you know, I'm, whether it was youth or, or just, um, or, or something that was pride too. Pride, um, you know, I, I just, I liked being able to say, well, I'm doing it all myself. <laughs> but in actuality, part of it was back then, I didn't know how to delegate tasks to people. You know, it, it, it took a while. I didn't really uh, understand it uh, until I took a job at East End Arts, which I've mentioned in the past, um, you know, when I was uh, education director there. And, and um, the person that really helped me with that was our were two people, uh, the executive director, her name is uh, Pat Snyder, and um, and uh, my second in command, <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> those two, those two women really helped me learn what it was, what delegating tasks was about. And I wish I knew that, uh, you know, years prior, because I really, really think I would have gone much farther in my music career. So that, that all said, you know, um, my advice to musicians now, especially if um, you're starting to see some small measure of success or whatever, 
You know, well, actually, no, you know, just from the from the start. If you have some friends or people or fans or what, whatever, some people who are willing to help find a way to learn how to delegate tasks and delegate tasks to them that can help you. Um, the, my, my boss, uh, one of the things he preaches at my job, he, he always talks, uh, he talks about, you know, knowing your customer, which I've mentioned in, in, um, also something he learned from a show called The Profit, which is uh, people process products. So, you know, and, and you can look that all up for yourself, but the people aspect of it is very important. You got to have the right people around you. And though I had great band members, I didn't have a team that could help me with tasks. So, um, and now I'm fried. <laughs> and I, you know, um, Right now, I'm, frankly, I'm, I'm happy just executing other people's plans, you know, uh, but we'll see, you know, maybe my batteries will become recharged. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so um, put together a team that can help you, uh, you know, and, and that will help the longevity of your career, you know, and, and help, uh, help you avoid burnout. So um, anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, so I will shut up because actually speaking of work, I've got to get to work. So I will catch you later. <laughs>